The Terra community has passed a new proposal. Let's talk about what that is. We're gonna be going over a bunch of Terra Classic news in this video, so make sure that you guys watch until the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of this extremely important information I'm about to give to you guys. But anyways, today we are talking about Terra Classic. And you can see the Terra Classic is currently down about 0.4% on the day. Um, now our market cap is sitting at about 216 um, in the world. The market cap is 379 billion at the or million at the moment. I wish it was a billion. Uh, and then the volume is sitting at about 111 million, which is up 30% over the past 24 hours. Now. Uh, Terra Classic is doing about 0.77% worse than Bitcoin and about 0.8% worse than Ethereum. Now, this is probably because Bitcoin and Ethereum have had a terrible week and they have finally started to rebound just a bit. Um, so yeah, that's probably the, the most likely reason why um, Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing a little bit better than Terra Classic at the moment. Uh, but uh, the really good thing I do want to note is that the volume is sitting at 111 million, which is above 100 million for the first time in four days. If you take a look at this historical data you can see here the volume was 86 million um, and then 61 million which is very very low 92 million and 99 million well we have finally passed that 111 million uh you know uh, 100 million uh resistance that we were kind of at there uh and over the past 24 hours we are doing a lot better um and really the reason we want a higher volume if you guys don't know um is because you get wild more wild swings in prices when you have more volume so um say the volume is about one third of their market cap It'll do uh, more for the price if it's doing good um, or bad. Uh, it can go up more or can go down more if it has more volume than say, uh, when it had 60 million volume, it won't do as bad if it's doing bad, but it won't do as good if the coin is doing good, if that makes uh, any type of sense. Uh, but anyways, um, let's talk about the few things that we gotta go over in this video, which are going to be um, Terra Communities, uh, new proposal that just got passed um, and some other piece of news. But before we do that i do want to mention that we do have a uh, free stock for you guys we need to deposit just one dollar on public.com public.com is a social investing network uh, that we use um, and it's a really good social investing app um, so if you guys want to join that go ahead and do that with the first link in the description deposit one dollar and you'll get up to three hundred dollars worth of free stock um, with that first link in the description but anyways let's talk about this um, emergency fund distribution method proposal so um, let's talk about it Following the relaunch of Terra, Luna tokens were lined up for various recipients with a solid 10% set aside for developers on Terra 2.0 um, with the condition of returning funds if the product, uh, product launch does not happen within a year. A previous past proposal um, instructed that 8% of the dedicated supply would be left to developer mining program, another 1.5% to the developer alignment program, and the final allocation of 0.5% was set aside for emergency allocation. Well, there's a new prop, Prop 44, Four, six, which is an emergency fund distribution plan. A proposal to determine how the emergency fund would be distributed across possible recipients was recently approved. The proposal, the proposal would direct the funds to three groups, the uh, PMF projects, um, uh, product market fit um, from Terra Classic, PMF projects without measurable TVL and pre PMF projects. The proposal would uh, pri prioritize um, the small scale projects as an emergency fund as ranked by the minimum possible amount a single pro uh, project should receive um, with an el eligibility criteria um, enforced by the long standing members of the Terra community who've promised to rescue themselves. Um, and uh, pre PMF teams will receive between 25K and 75K Luna. Um, these projects include Terran One, Random Earth, Coin Hall, Terrascope, and Seton. Um, so basically, this proposal is saying that they will get between 75k and 200k Luna. This means that a combined 2.5 million Luna is distributed across these first two projects or first two groups, leaving a further 2.5 million tokens for uh, projects that were mark, uh, product market fit. Um, so yeah, that's basically the new proposal, uh, basically an emergency fund to keep these different things afloat. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. Uh, but let's get on to the next piece of news for Terra Classic. Uh, and that's going to be that two traders targeting uh, three pool basically collapsed Terra. I do, uh, I'm gonna go over this very quickly. It was the other video today as well, uh, but I do wanna uh, kind of make sure people know why Terra actually collapsed. Uh, and basically it was because um, Terraform Labs uh, withdrew about 100 
150 million uh, UST from Curve's three pool, as well as two traders then swapped 85 million UST for USDC 30, 13 minutes later after that. And uh, second wallet trading 100 million UST and 25 million dollar increments over the following hour. Uh, this basically de-pegged UST and led to this collapse that we have all been dealing with over the past, um, you know, however long. So. Yeah, I basically wanted to go over that uh, and give a reason for um, why Terra actually collapsed. A lot of you guys still don't know. So if it, you don't know, basically these two traders and then Terraform Labs basically caused this collapse. Uh, and that leads us into our uh, final piece of news for today, and it's the Rebuild Roadmap Proposal. This Rebuild ro Roadmap Proposal starts off with team leadership removal. Um, and if you guys remember what I just said, Terraform Labs was uh, the people who withdrew uh, 150 million UST from the three pool, and that basically ca caused the collapse of Terra Luna. Um, so they want a um, team leadership removal of Do Kwan, for one, uh, who is the CEO of Terraform Labs, and then also Terraform Labs in general. So Terra Classic wants nothing to do with Do Kwan or Terra Classic at this point, or at least according to this roadmap proposal. Um, so that we want to do that. Then we want to implement a transaction tax of 1.2% on both Lunacy and USTC, which is the new um, stable arith a uh, algorithmic stable coin, which is outlined in part D. We also want to re-enable staking. We want um, new tokens and stable coins. We want for Lunacy and USTC PR marketing and advertising. Uh, and then also we want a Lunacy uh, and USTC website and social media accounts. Um, and then finally, we want Lunacy and USCC team members. So that's basically the whole uh, roadmap proposal. Something I do want to note, if we do implement this transaction tax of 1.2% um, and then also 35% um, on the Terra native chain, um, and we're able to get to a $10 billion market cap, uh, which is what we're, or sorry, $10 billion supply, uh, 10 billion to Loon C supply, uh, all we would need to get to a dollar would be for the market cap to be 10 billion, which we'd done before with Terra Luna in the past. And then also, if we would just want to get to a cent, uh, say say a cent, uh, we would just need to get the market cap to 100 million, which it is already above. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And then also, um, that's pretty much it. But I do want to mention that we do have a free section on our private Discord. You guys can join with the second link in the description. Um, and uh, we put out stock option plays, we put out crypto plays. So definitely join that. You're leaving free money on the table if you guys don't join. Join with the second link in the description. Uh, and finally, let's go over um, this uh, this technical analysis and we'll get out of here. So. We had a previous resistance at the 56. Um, we got above that resistance. We had a previous support at the 51. Um, and then now our new support is going to be the 57. And then our new resistance is going to be here at the 63. Um, so as long as we stay above the support, the 57, I would expect us to get back to that 63 level and break above it and get to that uh, previous resistance um, there at the 70 level. So basically, the uh, overall amount of upside here is about anywhere from 10 to 30 percent over the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for gains in that area. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys get your free stock with the first link in the description. Join our free section of our private Discord with the second link in the description. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. I'm Zach with Finance Bro. Take it easy.